Hi, Superstruce here, back with another Enter Random Engine's New Game Plus 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 video, episode 186. And, again, we're in the same big rip as last time. I can probably get some more Tachyon Particles. That's almost nothing. Whatever, I guess I can get E582 Ghost Particles and 65 Ghost of Eyes. There's not really much else to do here. I'm sort of close to the next Radioactive activity, okay, but not really. So, I'm, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do this. And then, more importantly, get the Light Empowerment. So, let's see. Sixth Light Empowerment. Next one only requires 15 Ultraviolet Lights. So it's not going to be quite as hard to get, I think. And I can get quite a lot of Neutrino Molts, except they're not going to do anything for a while. And I guess I can probably do some stuff with Bosonic Lab. I have, I still have 2.66 Bosonic Speed. People are actually telling me that the Bosonic Speed actually decays. And that's why I was seeing lower Bosonic Speed. It's, it's, it's weird. It's like it's, it's, it's a weird mechanic, but I guess that's what what happens. And there's not really much happening right now. I should probably go into, yeah, I can get at least three radioactive decays. Probably I get four. Four is easy. I could even go for five. And with Nanofield, I can already get 72 rewards. 73, even though 73 does nothing. I guess I'll try to get the 74th reward because that's going to do something. I mean, I think it's more important to try to get the 5th Radioactive Decay right off the bat. I don't think it's going to really do all that much, but it may do something. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the next Radioactive Decay, radio, radioactive decay so I, I, I'm just going mean, to... I guess I'm just going to get the 75th reward and then go out of Big Rip so I can try to, you know, get more Dark Matter, which will help me get everything. I already have two Ultraviolet Light, which is pretty crazy. And I'm, I'm getting... I'm getting a lot of antimatter here. Let's see how much I'm going to get. I had like E78 quadrillion. I'm probably going to... Honestly, I'm, I expect to see at least E70 quadrillion. Or, okay, well, it doesn't look like I'm going to get there. But I'm going to get to like E65 quadrillion. Which is close enough. But I think other than this... Uh, other than that, I don't think there's really all that much I can do. I guess I'm just going to... I'm going to... I have more W plus bosons. About double again. This should help the oscillate speed. I'm also going to finally use the this enchant like I'm gonna disable this which means I'm not gonna be able to get the runes but instead I'm gonna be be doing this to boost the oscillate speed and this should allow me to get many Z bosons here so hopefully this will I, I feel like this could get me like a hundred billion Z bosons which could like quadruple the speed of the W plus and W minus which will eventually lead to a faster extracting time and also wait for like ghostly photons to build up and if I can get up to let's say a hundred trillion ghostly rays that would be ideal but there's not really much else to do so yeah see in a bit okay I'm back like 12 hours later and let's see how how many Z bosons I have. I have 28 billion. I thought it was going to be a little bit more than that. Whatever. There's almost nothing I can really... <laughs> I can actually do here. I think I think what I should do... I should just... Um, I should swap th this enchant for that enchant. So... Disable, enable. And that that's about it. I feel like I... Yeah, just extract quantum bosonic runes. And yeah. I, I thought I was going to get a lot more out of this. Nope. I'm not getting... Much of it. I, I guess I can just check, you know, photons. I'm up to 11 ultraviolet light. It's decent. Maybe I should go into big rip here. Or actually grind neutrinos. I feel like grinding neutrinos would do something for me now. Yeah, now it's actually giving me over 100 auras of magnitude. So, yeah, this is definitely the right call to try to grind some neutrinos. I mean, the thing is these boosts don't really um, do all that much anymore. But still, it's 100 auras of magnitude and of neutrinos. And going to big rip... Mostly for like nano field and tree of decay. Let's see. I'm, I'm up to is this, this I'm up to six radioactive decays. I only had four, or maybe I had five. I have no idea. And again, I'm gonna be like 88 rewards. That seems like the max I can really get up to. I'm not gonna be able to get the next radioactive decay. So uh, hopefully, at least I'm gonna be getting more ghostly photons, which means I'll be getting more ghostly rays per second. So. I don't, I don't think it's really all that much, but it'll be something. And in Bosonic Lab, there's really not much I can actually do here. I guess I can do this and that. And just keep watching this. Like, maybe I'll do, like, I'll actually do this for, like, half an hour. And then try to go do this for half an hour. So, and I, I feel like what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a lot of 
of this stuff off camera. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back quite a few days later, and you can see I've done actually quite a lot of stuff here. I have actually decayed W cork and converted W minus W plus for like 12 hours each. So that's why I have 25 billion W plus bosons. This allows for an extremely fast extracting time and a much faster oscillate progression gain. And then also uh, 630 times bosonic antimatter production speed. So the thing is that I still don't have enough, enough bosonic antimatter to get this upgrade. The bosonic antimatter time walls are pretty brutal. I, I, I really don't like them. Also, I have 25,000 bosonic battery. And that, that's quite a lot. Like, I, I think I can, yeah, I can go up using up to about almost like one per second here. So this does speed things up very slightly. It's not really that big of a difference. And ghostly photons, I'm stuck at like two quadrillion ghostly rays with 14 ultraviolet light, not quite to the 15 I want. I think what I should do here is go into big grip. Also, I have E1 trillion eternity points. So yeah, that, that, that's a yeah, new milestone there. Maybe I can grind some neutrinos. Because now I can get up to E1087 neutrinos of each type. Which I guess it isn't that much, but it's something. I, I need everything I can at this point. This game is extremely slow. And then maybe if I go into big rip, I can get more nanofield rewards and radioactive decays. So nanofield, okay, I can get 89, maybe 90, but it doesn't look like I can get much more than that. Tree of Decay, I'm actually pretty close to the next Radioactive Decay. I think I need maybe two more of these upgrades, maybe maybe three more. I'm not sure if I need two or three. Actually, I think I need three more, unfortunately. That shouldn't take too long. Like, this should just take like a minute or so. So now on the green branch, I'm now just one upgrade away. I need only E 1.5 E177 green cork spin, which I don't think is all that much. It looks like the green branch is about to make it. It's at E177. Let's see. There it is. Ra seventh radioactive decay on the green branch, allowing me to get E182 quirk spin. Now it's going to. Now blue branch is following and red branch is following. So that is definitely speeding things up. It allows me to get 24 levels of this and probably some other levels of some of the other things. Nano field. I'm just going to check on that. I have 91 rewards, almost 92. I feel like what I should do at this point is, is dilate time. And this allows me to get all the way up to E381 tachyon particles. So at least I'm making some progress somewhere. Even if Bosonic Lab is just extremely slow and super annoying. So I don't think there's much else I can do here. Like there's no way I'm going to get the eighth radioactive decay. I think at E186 or E187 cork spin. I think that's a good place to stop the big rip run here. Also, I sort of want the 90 second reward. It's, it's literally just going to be a buff to meta dimensions. It really isn't all that big, but I guess everything counts. Right now, it's actually the anti-energy that is, is slowing me down. It's not the, the brand energy. So, let's see. Here it is. 92 rewards. No way I'm going to get 93. So, yeah, now I'm exiting Big Rip, and this should allow me to hopefully... Yeah, I can reach E80 quadrillion antimatter for the first time here. So, it definitely was successful, in, at least somewhere. And maybe I'll be able to get more dark matter, which will allow me to get more ghostly rays and do the next light empowerment. I, I think what is coming first is this upgrade. What it does is it replaces the first nanofield reward with a new powerful boost. It requires... 15 million, or no, just not 15, 5 million Infinity Bosonic Runes and 2.5 million Eternity Bosonic Runes. And I think I'm just going to try to max this, I think. I think that's the best thing to do at this point, which it's going to, yeah, it's going to run out of Quantum Bosonic Runes first. So this doubles this level, which it's almost at a million at this point, which is interesting. But there's not much else. Also, I got a secret achievement. I think off camera I got this one. I'm not I'm I'm not going to go over it because I'm not going to hover over it because you know spoilers. But it's the actually you, you might have saw it right there. But whatever. It's the did you not understand the automation? So yeah, that that's a thing. But anyway, 
there's not really much more for me to do here, so see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back and I can finally get this Sponic upgrade here. It took a long time to get. So this is replacing the first Nanofill Roar with a new powerful boost. And let's see what this is going to do. It's instantly skyrocketing my antimatter all the way to E90 something quadrillion. And the Bosonic speed is going to go all the way up to almost 3.4. Let's see what Nanofill Roar this even is. It's now dimension supersonic scaling. Starts 63 million later. So that could be very powerful. I don't think it's going to have any effect in Big Rip, however. But at least I do have that. And next upgrade is at 500 billion bosonic antimatter. It's replacing the seventh name of Flavor War with a new powerful boost. So it looks like there's not, not all that much else I can do. I have 15 trillion Z bosons, which translates to, like, it's the thing is only barely doubling the speed of, like, the W plus and W minus bosons. I'm, I'm getting now about 1 million per second. So, like, that's, that's pretty good, but it's still, you know, 1 million per second, it would still take 25,000 seconds, which is, like, 8 hours to get as many bosons I, as I have here. And remember, I have to do this twice. So, it's actually not all that fast. Like, even with overdrive. So, at, at least I'm, I'm now getting a lot more bosonic antimatter. That's probably the most important part. Because getting the runes is easy. The bosonic antimatter is the is the problem. I so I feel like maybe what I can do here is now that I have all, all these runes, I should probably max this enchant here, which is gonna allow me to get a lot more runes. You can just see how much how many infinity bosonic runes I can get. Actually, it's not being used right now. So now you can just see how much this is doing. It's like it's very fast. Even with the quantum bosonic runes, it's quite fast. So maybe I should try to do this to get the like more of the second upgrade here because it's I think it's I can get it pretty quickly like you can see I'm getting 500 per second that's 250 of these levels per second even though even if I have to do both type of runes that's still 125 of these levels per second and if I have that going for like a day that could that could mean 10 million levels which could be, I mean, I don't think it's going to be all that powerful, but it'll do something at the very least. And now, now, just getting 750,000 of these takes almost no time compared to the bosonic antimatter time walls. So I feel like actually what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use the rest of these, of my anti-prions here, for just getting more W plus or and W minus bosons, because this will help my bosonic antimatter, which is by far the slowest part of this game right now. I'm going to photons, I'm still nowhere close to this next light empowerment. That's okay. I think maybe all this antimatter will allow me to get more dilated time. Like I feel like that is gonna help. So it could help my like it could help me get one more light empowerment. And I feel I feel like that is pretty fair powerful. Maybe the extra quarks are giving me more like neutrinos. Uh, I don't think it's really giving me all that much. It's only E1090 neutrinos, so it looks like what I'm gonna do here again is just wait. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back like a couple days later or something like that, and I've made a lot of progress, but you're not gonna see that until next episode. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.